seen in the intro, we got some real shit to talk about, you feel me? It's your boy, Johnny Glow. Alright, you know who I am, J. Reed, we here to talk, here to discuss, man. Welcome aboard. For show, for show, for show, man. R.I.P. Jalen Walker, justice for Jalen Walker, man. R.I.P., like, man. You know what I'm Jaylen saying? Jalen Walker. We from the city, you know what I mean? We from we from the act, from Brown Town, you feel me? Whatever you want to call it, you dig what I'm saying? We, we from the city. And so, like, man, I seen a lot of the different stuff going on, bro, and I feel a lot of different ways about the situation. You feel me? We we tried to get a special guest, James, but he was acting like a hoe, so we ain't even gonna be trying to. You feel me? Hopefully, we can still get him on. You know what I mean? But we ain't gonna. We gonna we gonna say our piece on it and give y'all what we can give y'all. You feel me? Because there's a lot of things that we got to say. A lot of things we feel about the situation. Definitely, definitely, man. Yeah. Shout out to my nigga James, by the way. <laughs> um. First, I want to know, man, how you, how you, like, what you got to say, man? Talk how to you me. feel? No, I'm asking you a question, man. How you feeling? What's your, like... You, you mean how I'm feeling overall? You want me to get, you want me to jump straight into action? Well, first, I want to know how you feeling overall tonight, How, how I'm feeling overall tonight, man. It's, it's another beautiful Friday mm -hmm. night, man. Um, It's actually the Friday right after they had Jada's funeral, man. So, um, it's a beautiful Friday. Um, mm -hmm. They laid, they laid, they laid him to rest, man. And, you know, I, I, I hope that... I hope that we get justice, man. I know my brother got some some, some ideas about the motherfucking justice, but I hope that we do get justice, man. And um, tonight, it, tonight I'm feeling uh, tonight I'm feeling pretty good, man. Like on a personal level, like I, my health is with me, my wealth is with me. You know what I'm saying? I've been learning new things, working hard, man, discovering new parts of myself. So to me, I'm doing the best I could do. Okay. Um, and yeah, given the, the given the, the incidents that have happened, you know what I'm saying? Especially in the city over the past couple of weeks, it's like. All I can do is the best I can do, so I'm happy about that, bro. How you feeling, man? I'm good, man. You know, I really want to talk, you know what I'm saying? Get up audience, our opinion on, on the Jalen Walker. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But overall, I had a good day, productive day, man. You know, right, so right, right. I'm good and I'm ready, man. And I hope y'all ready, too. You feel me? So, go ahead, man. So, I'm a, yeah, tell me, tell me, go ahead, bro. So, if you don't know what you should know, you've been living under a rock, especially as a black person. Um, There was an unarmed black man in my neighborhood shot. 60 times, you know what I'm saying, uh, and, and murdered in the middle of the street. Now, it's a lot of people, it's a lot of different opinions and ideas and articles and shit going around. I'm going to keep it real with you, like, I'm, I'm going to speak from the voice of the streets. Like, I'm not about to sit here and try to comb through all the articles and comb through all the little details because... One thing I know media gonna do is they're gonna try to give you a reason why they shot this man 90 times. They fired 90 rounds at this man. 90. Man. 
90. They shot that man 60 fucking times, bruh. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a damn. You feel me? He ain't had no arm, no weapon on it. He run in the other direction. If you seen the body cam footage, you fucking seen it. He run in the other direction. And they fired 90 rounds at this man, bruh. 90. So I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. I don't give a fuck. There ain't no reason. Ain't no excuse for that shit. Especially when it's all kind of white ass school shooters and all kind of bullshit. All kind of fucking other races of people who be way more fucking threat to society and a threat to the cops that they fucking apprehend safely. Niggas didn't murder eight people apprehending them safely. Niggas with fucking white ass people with fucking knives and trying to shoot slice at the goddamn cops apprehended safely. But a black man running the other motherfucking direction is so goddamn frightening that they shot the nigga 60 motherfucking goddamn time. That's some bullshit. I don't give a fuck. And, the, and, the, and go ahead, man. The Talk, I'm, thing, I'm charged up. The hardest thing I can say about it, honestly, man, is like, I, I, I personally didn't know the man, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I didn't know him, you know, but a lot of people that I know around me in my circle, you know, even in the community, they know him. And all the stuff that I hear about him is good, positive information. Like, I don't get nothing about him being a bad person and not trying to do what he want to do. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And his family was going through a lot in that moment, as I heard. When I'm, like you said, right. it's for the street. Word on the street. Yeah, it's Word on the street. Because we, what we're what we not going to do is act like we know. Right. We do right. not know for a fact. You feel me? So, get the fuck off our dick and listen to what we got to say. Uh, yeah, so, mm -hmm. like I said, I don't, I don't really know, man, but... Like I said, a lot of things I heard is good, and it's like it's some of the things I was be want to do. Like mm -hmm. I want to do shit that people are saying when I go. That's they saying part of it. Yeah, I want right, people right. to say that about me too. You mm -hmm. feel me? So it's just like having to walk around as a black man. He was unarmed, regardless if he did own a weapon. We should be allowed. It's a it's a law. You feel me? We have the law, of human rights to legal arms. in Ohio you know what to what fucking saying? carry a weapon. So that should be fine. I mean, I just it's unjustified, bro. That's just it. It ain't right, man. I don't agree to this situation, bro. This is how I feel, bro. This is how I feel. And this is how I felt for years. First off, I want to say that Jalen Walker wasn't nothing like my best friend, but I did go to school with him. Okay. And to the point where we graduated the same year or around the same year. You know what I'm saying? I got friends that I graduated with that know him personally. And, you know, I definitely wanted one of them on the show to give him more personal recollection. But what I will say is that I was familiar with everybody in that motherfucking school and he was one of the kids that was the most non problematic. You feel me? He was the one of the most he was one of the he was the one of the coolest, you know, mild spoken people to the point where it's like there was never any problems with him. Not from a teacher, not from a damn in between, you know, in between from student to student. Nobody bothered him and he didn't bother nobody. So to try to paint him as this violent person is bullshit. I know that's bullshit. I know all the violent motherfuckers I right. went to school with. <laughs> and I was one of them, goddammit. So, <laughs> I know them niggas, okay? And he wasn't one of them. He was a great kid, at, you know what I mean? And he was he was a cool kid. And I feel like, when you the more and more I read these motherfucking articles and shit, it's like, yeah. they want to try to paint, they want to try to paint him as a fucking, he shot at the cops and he was trying to, uh, he took the police on a half an hour pursuit. And all this extra goofy dumb shit. And this is like, bro, first of all, let's, let's, let's speak on like, what we heard from, what I heard from different family members and different people in the community was that he had lost a very important person to him a couple of weeks prior to this incident. Right. Um, some say it was his fiance, his girlfriend, somebody he cared his best about. Best friend, for sure. And from from what I hear, it was from a car accident, right? And that's a tragic way to lose somebody you care about, especially we in our twenties. You don't expect that shit. Like that right, shit. Right. That shit tough. Mentally, you feel what I'm saying? Like that shit tough. Mm -hmm. Like, and so. Right, and I and I'm gonna put this on record. Him being in a, a disgruntled state about losing somebody is normal. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's very it's very alarming to me as a black man, and I've known this for a while. But it's very alarming to me as a black man that you can't even be hurt. You can't even be going through something without being a threat to fucking th th right. th like like really. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and he this was... this is land more hurt. We right. watching it. This land more hurt on top of the hurt we are we dealing with. And and it's like, I think personally, you my best friend. Losing you, I wouldn't even know how my mental would be. I can't predict it. I don't even think that negative to even go to that way. So, mm -hmm. I couldn't even imagine how, how I'd be feeling. But that don't justify you killing me, suing me 60 times. Like, that don't justify anything, bro. Period. Based on my history with your 
you know what I'm saying, on, on what I got going on, it don't justify that. That car, if he saw shots at y'all running away, that car would have been painted up. Right, like he wouldn't even was, made it off the passenger door. Exactly. Y'all really was that case. It, it exactly. wasn't even that. It's a lot of right, it's a lot on, of it's man. a lot of reports that would say he shot out of the car, right? But I remember not too long ago they shot a black man in his car and he was sleeping it. He was sleeping that motherfucker. So you mean to tell me that is he shot out the he shot out the car and that motherfucker wasn't filled with bullet holes? They shot the nigga ninety times running away. You don't think they would have shot him one hundred and fifty if he shot out the car? I, it's a certain shit. I, I, don't, I don't. I don't give a fuck what the story is, bro. Shoot a nigga sixty times these nuts. You can't even punch a nigga sixty times. The fuck? Get the fuck out of here, man. And the part that charged me up about this the most is I know I always knew my existence as a black man was fickle. This is why I go hard every day. Like ever since I had, especially ever since I had my daughter, like I gotta leave something for her because I'm gonna do the best I can to stay out of trouble. I'm gonna do the best I can to not motherfucking. You know, get murdered by the cops. But I, I seen, I feel like I seen too many situations where I don't know what else that man could have did. You feel me? And and it's like, it's it's hopeless. You talk to some, I talk to talk to people. Well, he shouldn't have ran from the cops and that's other stupid dumb shit. And it's like you're a dickhead. How about that? <laughs> you're a fucking dickhead. Because how the fuck can you sit here and say some shit like that when I can name ten plus stories of a man who didn't run, ten plus stories of unarmed black man who was murdered, ten plus. Like, I mean, I could probably go on 50 plus. Fuck is you talking about? So I don't want to hear none of that bullshit, man. Say their names, George Like, Boy, I'm afraid for my motherfucking life every day. Come on, man. You feel me? Not only am I in the middle of the motherfucking trenches at half the goddamn time, but shit, I could get pulled over and they can murder me and they're going to justify it. They're going to hide the names of the people who did it. They're going to fucking protect them. They're going to protect my murderers. That's what they're going to do. That, so that's why I go hard every day, man, and I give I put it on online every day because I don't know if I'm if I love you, love you, cuz. I love you, bro. I'm gonna tell you I love you. I'm not afraid of love because I'm I'm more afraid to die. You feel me? So if I love you, I'm gonna tell you I love you. You feel me? If I fuck with you, I'm gonna fuck with you. If I don't fuck with you, I'm gonna tell you, nigga, I don't fuck with you because I gotta be authentic. I gotta be real. You feel what I'm saying? I gotta be real as I can be. And I think I think that you know the fact that um you know. People justifying his murder is just something that I can't get along with. You know, I can't get jiggy with. I can't. I can't. I can't because that could be my son. That could be my brother. That could be. That could be. That could be my people's. And I mean, it, it, hit, it hit close enough to home because I knew him and went to school with him. And and, and they trying to villainize him to justify shooting him sixty fucking times. That's some bullshit, man. What's the lesson? I got a question. So, what's the lesson you feel like is being given about this? This. This motherfucking, this video cam, the way they treating us, man, like, what is they trying to tell us, man? What are they saying to us, bro? And most, like you said, most people, is they solution is to just bow down and submit to it, man. I mean, I think a lot of people is tired of it, man. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of people was protesting, man. Facts, I like that. Like, taking to the streets and mm -hmm. speaking their case, man. I gotta give a, a huge shout out to my nigga James because he inspired me. You feel me? He was out there on, on Front Street, you know what I'm saying, uh, vouching for his homie. You feel me? And, and protesting for his homie. So, hopefully, in the future, when he see this shit, he'll get on and realize he missed out, you know what I'm saying, to speak his, you know, to speak on the situation. But, at the end of the day, like, it was a lot of people front line. And, and this is a part of us being front line, speaking on the issue and putting it out there. I would like to meet James, too, man. That's the homie. Come on through, man. Welcome. That's the homie. That's the homie. Don't don't act don't, don't act famous on me, nigga. But that's the homie. <laughs> that's the homie. So shout out to everybody who was protesting and took to the streets, yeah, man. Definitely. Like you said, I the footage the footage that I used to intro this video was just a blimp. Mm -hmm. That was just me being on Copley. You feel me? And showing you like ten percent of the people who was out there marching for the homie. You feel what I'm saying? So I I, I commend my community. I commend the people who did come out and step out. Now, when you're talking about the solution, it like, I know a lot of people feel hopeless. And that's why I don't get jiggy with people who be like, well, y'all rioting and y'all breaking shit and y'all this, that, and the third. But when you feel hopeless, what the fuck? What's the, what's the practical solution? Ain't one, I, mean, I, ain't, can't, I ain't heard one that people could get behind. Right. I haven't heard one. So shit, sometimes you just fuck it. I'm going to break this shit. I'm going to set this shit on fire because I feel like my life on fire. I feel like shit, I feel like they breaking my motherfucking hopes and my motherfucking dreams in half. I, I definitely want to say this first, condolence to the family, and then when I really put myself in their shoes and try to be in their perspective, man, I can't imagine my child being done that way, you know, by a, a group of people that have been told to protect us, you know, which might be a lie, who knows, you know what I'm saying, so 
I really, I really feel for those people, bro. I can't. I be, I be, I don't, I don't even know. So how I even react? To be honest, bro, I don't even want to think about stuff like that. And we, we gotta realize tomorrow ain't guaranteed, man. Tomorrow really is not guaranteed. Appreciate what's going on. And who we? I got, I got deep. a lot of, I got a lot of friends that say I'm too serious or I'm too, mm -hmm. I'm, and it's like, you gotta understand. Like even me and you had these conversations. And it's like Jay, I know I'm not in a bad place in life. Like we all right, right. right. but it's like. I'm not in a place where if I die today, my daughter would be set up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm not... Like, I haven't lived long enough to really let her know me. You mm -hmm. feel me? And be able to really raise her and give her game. You feel me? And, and let her know she's beautiful. And let her know that she loved. You feel me? Like, like I got to keep pushing for that. You feel me? I got to keep making the right decisions so that I can have that in my life. You feel what I'm saying? And it's it's very important to me. Very, very important to me. I take I take a lot of things very serious. The people I love, I take them very serious because there's a lot of people who love Jalen. And if you took that relationship with him serious, you can live with the last memories. You feel me? You can live with the last moment because you know that you was loving. I could, I could always live with, you know what I'm saying, the last moment with you. Because even if I'm wrong, even if something ain't right, I, I apologize without even giving a fuck. Because I will never want you to pull off and never see you again and right. we was beefing. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I value every moment with people, you feel me? And it's so many people who are afraid to get their heart broke or afraid to care about people, but I'm more afraid to die without people knowing how I felt about them. Right, exactly. I'm more afraid so, to die without people knowing that I really love them and I really uh, never stop loving them and I really arrive for them to the wheels fall off type shit. You right. feel me? And I, I, a lot of people take that for granted, but, you know, I, I do my best to be right. You know what I'm saying? I do my fucking best to be right. So I like that. I definitely 100% agree to that. And, um... I wanted to ask you, you know, because one of our our guests had a question, bro. You talking about the homie Corey? Yeah, my boy Corey, man. And know. this 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 play right into it. You gonna read it right off the verbatim, or I can paraphrase? You no, know, I would like to read it off the verbatim. Okay, you know, go, ahead, go ahead. I'm go gonna ahead. read it fully too. Long. Long. Don't take too long. No, no, you right, right. You know, Jawan Sav, you feel him? He got an a YouTube page too, man. Shout out to my brother, bro. Uh, he said, "Great video, my boy." You know, Johnny Glow be wildin', you know, he do, you feel me? Mm -hmm. He said, I want to hear y'all's thoughts on how the community how the community can come together to make a change. Also, how do you personally plan to keep your kids safe and preventing them from being another statistic? So that's two questions, but you know, go You want to go first? No, I want you to go, I'm asking you. Now, this is something that I believe is fully, like not fully, because nothing really fully in your control, but with my, with my kids... And with my family, like, I really I really just want to show them a different side of success. Mm -hmm. I feel like growing up in the projects, growing up in Spring Hill projects, growing up around the way, it's like the idea of success I grew up with was the Doughboy. Mm -hmm. Like, still to this day, I want me a little Dodge Magnum because they used to pull up. They used to pull up in the Magnums, nigga. You don't remember the Magnums, nigga? But they used mm -hmm. to pull up, you feel me, in the Magnums. So it's like... That was that was my idea of success, and that's a lot of the homies' idea of success, man. I remember going to school. One of the homies, he's like, "Nigga, if I don't play ball, I'm gonna be a dope boy." You feel me? And a hom the homie lost his life like a year ago. You feel me? For real, for real. So it's like we only got two versions of success. It's like, nigga, if I don't play ball, nigga, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna grab the ball and break it down and, and find my. And it's like, I just want to show my kids like, you know, how to build their credit, how to live their life away from so much risk, because I feel like that's the best we could do. Like, as a black man, you always going to be a target, but you can live your life in a way that mitigates all of the extra risk of going to jail and being murdered, you feel me, under unfortunate circumstances. And that's really what I want to teach my kids about mitigating the risk, like finding legitimate sources of income, starting your own business, working on your credit, you know what I mean, paying your taxes, like doing things the right way so you can avoid all of these things that come with doing things the wrong way, you feel me? Because I know a lot of bright, bright homies. I know homies that had... D1 college scholarships that just couldn't get away from doing illegal shit. You feel me? For whatever clout, for the bitches, for programming, whatever. So it's like, with well, my kids, I'm a program to understand that, like, it's cool to do shit the right way. That's cool. One thing I want to be clear is, like, I, I want, one, a message I would like to give is that we got to really realize that we not the enemies. Like, we not each other's enemy no more. My next door neighbor is not my enemy. He's not preventing me from doing anything. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As much as we, you feel me, are convinced that that's the person that's stopping me from getting to the store, or going to the grocery, or whatever the case may be, 
we are not the enemies, man. We need to really identify who's really preventing us from getting this. So, way. so you talking about black on black crime right now? Man, I don't even like to okay. call it that because that don't exist like that. But I know, I know what you mean. You us me? killing yes. each other. We we saying you know that what so y'all can understand exactly. Yeah, what saying, yeah, yeah. But, but I get what you're yeah. saying too. I get what you're saying too. I get what you're saying too. It's a, it's a, that's a buzz fucking word or a yeah, buzz topic, exactly. and it's not really nah. You know, racists kill each other. Period. Point blank. Let's just leave it at that. Just in case you didn't know, Google it with your stupid ass. However. When you speak on the Dylan Walker situation, you speak on the cops killing us, and you talk about the amount of furiousness that I feel about that. I feel the same amount of furiousness for the amount of glory that we give killing each other. We mm. glorify that shit. I can't even listen to half the rappers, G. Because you're not about to play with my mind like that. Like, you're a pussy. You haven't murdered nothing. But you want to <laughs> talk about this shit like you're going to up the chop and spin the block. Boy, you're not doing none of that shit, you lame-ass nigga. See, and I don't even, I, I, I don't care how y'all feel about this, but I want to say it too, because it's like, as much as we, you know, upset, you know what I'm saying, about the situation that's going on currently in the news, that's a very good topic, we should be upset when we, you know, when a four-year-old get killed too, mm-hmm. when another grandpa or uncle of that four-year-old get killed as well, we should be just as angry, we should be just as upset as why is this even happening, we should be just as mad when we doing it to ourselves too. Mm-hmm. It ain't should be skipped over and picking. You know what I'm saying? We should just be angry, bro. Sure. And this should be all around. You know what I mean? And 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 I, stop, I, 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 stop glorifying this negative shit, man. This negative frequency. It's all about frequencies and vibrations. And we be fucked up to this negative frequency, bro. We love it. It sells. It's getting paid in our community. We need sure. to get off of it, man. For sure. It's a, it's a lot of people that be like, the world is a terrible place. All the shit you know about the world is off a fucking shade room, bitch. Listen, everything, that up too. everything, all oh, bro, you everything off. You see, you hear a four year old get killed, nigga. That shit be on all of the blogs, all of the tabloids. A motherfucker should have could have just gave birth to sex tablets. A motherfucker could have just became a millionaire. A motherfucker could have had a a great day where they motherfucker helped six people, motherfucker go, go, eat and shit like that. But y'all don't want to see that. A motherfucker post something helping people. Why you gotta post it on the internet? Why you gotta show people? You right. doing it for the clown. Right. But I can post some negative shit and y'all laughing, kiki ki, y'all eating it up. You feel me? I see the nigga get his neck sliced in the middle of the mall on the internet. His neck sliced. I was like, nigga, it's real easy to find this type of shit on the internet, but where is the inspiration? I gotta search on YouTube for inspirational videos to fucking hear inspiration on the internet. I gotta go find it. Because you niggas bring bullshit just over and over and over again, thinking the world's so goddamn negative, when your perspective is from media controlled by you. Be not by you, but by fucking uh, social media. You a motherfucking metaverse motherfucker don't even know it. The fuck? <laughs> goddamn. And honestly, to add to that, I feel like even though you feel me, if you're going to believe on the negative side, the world's so negative, the world's so negative, man. It's always a flip side to the world so negative. You always see the world so negative, just understand on the flip side, the world is so positive too, motherfucker. Sure. As it shall be light, as it shall be sunrise, there shall be sunset. So there's always two sides of the coin, man. Understand sure. that each one has a position that ain't going to play its part. Just because your, you know, the algorithm and your motherfucking social media only bring up the negative, bro, you got to switch it to bring up the positives too. Because mm-hmm. there's definitely positive. There's a lot of shit that's happening. There's a lot of shit that we can really do about it if you fucking focus on it, man. Sure. And this sure. is this the, the mindset said on it we doing it together bring us together get understanding man like for sure this is this is, this is a space man. like like we speak we spoke on the situation with uh Jalen losing somebody close to him before the situation happened and this 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 podcast was predicated on the idea of mental health for black men man you know what i'm saying like Big time. like you want to come on here and talk shoot hit, get at us come through we 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 we'll talk about it we we we'll, we we'll help you because I know it feel good for everybody to know. It feel good sometimes. Like this is therapy. It like it's cool to sit down and talk to one person, but it feel better. Like everybody know now. You feel me? And it, it's like you can relate. Your life not perfect. You trying to sit there and hold it in and sit there and act like it's okay, but it ain't. You feel what I'm saying? So we definitely had to touch on this topic about Jalen man and, 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 and speak on the the uh. The insecurities that, that, that come with being a black man, bro. Yeah, that's a good you got word. you got any last words, man? Before we get up out of that's here, that's a good man? word, man. Um, just nah, uh, you know. Let me. If you got something to say right now, let me think of something. No, mm-hmm. man. All right. Well, I, I, all I can say in closing is that if you a black man out in the world, bro, and you going through things, man, and you feel 
as insecure about the rest of your life as we do, man. Come come to the podcast. Come holler at us, man. Come talk about what's really on your mind, what's really on your spirit, man, because that's what we created it for. You feel me? Niggas ain't shit come from the social idea of us. You feel me? And trying to change that and, and change that narrative and, like, understand it. Like, we somebody, no matter what we going through, we're calling the world we Exactly, and you know, I do got something I want to say, man. Work on, you know, being gratitude, bro. Being gratified, bro. Work on work on your gratitude, and it's a muscle, man. If you're not good at it yet, you know, work on it every day. Keep trying it. The more you do it, the better you get at it, man. Just work on your gratitude muscle, because like you said, tomorrow not guaranteed, bro. Appreciate the loved ones. Get around them, hug them tight, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning yeah, in, man. Sure, we'll baby. be right, right back with another man. episode, man. Y'all been a blessing. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate being your very, very gracious host, man. We hope that the uh, the family of uh, Jalen get justice, man. And I mean, I know my brother don't believe they will get justice. And I mean, I know a lot of us around the world don't believe that they will get justice. But that's something that we hope for, and we're not going to stop pushing for it. You, we never going to be okay with, you know, being killed at the hands of the police. Never. Yeah. So-